let's look at how to calculate the total resistance for uh, a parallel circuit. So we have a 10 ohm resistor and a 30 ohm resistor in parallel with each other. The question is calculate the total resistance. So let's look at method one, which we will call the fraction method. So we start off with the same equation. That's our equation for the total resistance in parallel. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, and that's for however many resistors there are. We can substitute our values in, 1 over 10 plus 1 over 30. Now, it's not simply enough to add those together. You can't add those together because the number on the bottom, the denominator, is different. So what we have to do is find the lowest common denominator, in other words, the lowest number that both of these go into, uh, which is 30. Now, 10 goes into 30 three times, so we end up with 3 over 30, uh, plus 1 over 30, same number on the bottom, so we can now add these together, 4 over 30. But if you remember back to up here, we're figuring out what 1 over RT is, we're not figuring out what RT is, you know that the total resistance. So what we need to do is to flip that round. So this is what we call the flip step, where we turn everything round. So we get RT over 1, which is really just the same as saying RT, is equal to 30 over 4, and we get 7.5. So that's the fraction method, the first method. The second method we can use, we will call the decimal method. We start off in the same way, same equation, substitute the values in in the same way, but instead of figuring out what the lowest common denominator is here, instead of continuing to work with fractions, we change these into decimals. So we do 1 divided by 10, which is 0 0.1, and then we do 1 divided by 30, which is 0 0.033, and so on. So we get 0 0.133 as, as, as our answer, um, but that's 1 over RT again, so we need to flip everything around. This time we do 1 over that decimal number, 1 over 0 0.133, and we get 7.5. Same answer, slightly different way of doing it. Third and final method is the calculator method. So we can use these buttons on our calculator. It's either going to be A, B, slash C, or it's going to look something like, like a fraction like that. You all know where that is in your calculator now. So same start as before, same equation. Put the values in. But at this stage, this is where you go to your calculator. So you would do 1 A, B, C. 10 plus 1 ABC 30, don't write that down, but you would write down this with the asterisk next to it. That's the value that you get out of your calculator. So what the calculator has done for you is it has found what the lowest common denominator is there, or in other words, it has added those fractions together for you. So you figure out what 1 over RT is, it's 2 over 15. So all you need to do once you get this answer from your calculator is flip everything around. RT over 1 equals 15 over 2, answer is 7.5. So those are the three ways that you can, you can calculate total resistance for a parallel circuit. Choose the one that you like best and stick with it.